You are all welcome. Uh, Sir Kalich, uh, Kalichi, um, I want to put something right, you know. Uh, I'm not just uh, a pastor that comes here. I'm a judge uh, uncle, you know. Um, in our tradition, I'm not supposed, you know, but because of my profession, I'm here. You know, judge is um, a son, you know, not just a son, I'm the I'm judge's uncle, you know, and that is why I'm here, okay? And uh, before, you know, I'll go into prayer, I want to admonish all of us, you know, about something that is called um, uh, mental illness, or uh, why we all need God, why we all need Jesus. Um, a mental illness is something that um, no man, no man is above it. Whether you're a professor, whether you're a rich man, you've heard of some, you know, big men who were depressed and uh, killed themselves. Whether you're a small child, there is no medication for it. It is only one medication. That is Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, and um, I want um, just one minute. I want uh, Okachiku to just read out something for us. You know, why we all need Jesus. When you go to doctors and they give you prescription, the prescription is for you to manage it. They will tell you it is to manage it. It cannot cure it. There is no medicine. There is no prescription that can cure sickness. There is only one name that can heal and that can cure all. And that name is Jesus. And that is why it's important that we all need the spirit of Jesus in our life. So um, African world will just, um, you know, read out something for us. Then we'll pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. I'm going to read uh, excerpt from the Bible, from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 1 to 16. And I read us. And they came over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of the gatherings. And when he was come out of the field, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been out, often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Jesus, the Son of the Most High God, I adjure thee by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. Mind you, there were about 2,000 and were choked into the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out 
to see what it was that was done. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid. And they, they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning his wife. Praise the Lord. You can see why a mental illness cannot be cured by any man. That man was possessed by a demon. And um, he was day and night crying for help. Isolated. When Jesus saw him, Jesus knew that it wasn't just mental illness, for there were many demons. And Jesus casted the demon out of the man, and the man sat in his right mind. Without Jesus, this man would have destroyed himself. That is what happens to Anyone, you know, they say depression, those who are, uh, who works with uh, mental, you know, people who has mental illness and whatever will tell you what they suffer, how they cry, and what they go through. The devil does one thing, is to steal and kill and destroy. And that is the plan of the devil. There is nobody... Whether you are a rich man, I said it before, whether you are a poor man, whether you are 12 years, whether you are 13 years, depression has that no limit. It could happen to anybody. You know, when we hear mental illness, it looks as if, you know, is um, um, something that somebody, you know, caused for himself. No, it is a demon. It is a demon possessed. And the only thing this demon fears, the only medicine, the only medication that he fears is Jesus. And when he comes, and when he comes, he will take you out of your mind. But when Jesus healed this man, the Bible said they saw him sitting down at his right mind. We have so many children here. Maybe your relatives or whatever they say, I don't know what is happening to this person. I don't know why he's behaving like this. That is not the plan of the person. It is the devil that has possessed that person. But Jesus came that we might have life and have life in full. And I pray and I hope that as many that are here, that God of mercy will release his hand upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. The demon did not, you know, kill our son. Depression did not kill him. Mental illness did not kill him. The people that were supposed to protect him killed him. Not the demon this time, but the people who were supposed to do what? Protect him, kill him. But we, we thank God, like I said the other day, we might not have the government, we might not have the money, but we have God. So I am, I am encouraging and I am advising each and every one of you. Know the reason you are here in this country. Know why you are here. Be focused. Tomorrow you are going to be like us. And I pray that you people will leave a good legacy in Jesus' name. Your effort here shall not be in vain. I strongly believe that our son is in heaven. I can attest to this, that he is what? In heaven. In heaven. Because he's, he, he is innocent. He is what? Innocent. The, the law said that one is innocent until he is proven guilty by the law court. But these people judged him and God will judge them Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father and our God will thank you. 
But I will thank you for these ones that are here. We thank you because we are here for the living and not for the one who has come to be with you. Father, we strongly believe that he is in a safe place. Father, I ask, I join faith with your sons and daughters that are here. And I ask, O oh Lord, that you will comfort our family in Jesus' name. Amen. You will comfort judge friends. You will comfort the friends of our Gloria, grateful Emmanuel and Victor in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, whatever thing we're going to do here, Father, we shall not celebrate the death of our children anymore. Amen. None of us, O oh God, will be buried in a strange land. Even the parents of this ones shall not mourn their children in the name of Jesus. Amen. I use you as a contact point for other children, even the Irish, those in our community. None of you shall die young in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that God of understanding will give you wisdom, understanding, and knowledge to excel in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We cover everything we're doing here with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for receiving the soul of our son. For we know that he is in a better place in the name of Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Please, I want you people to just clap for Hero Judge because he's a hero. You can do better. You can do better than that. Amen. Amen. The newspapers, televisions will carry you for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not come out of the front page for evil or death Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen.